In today's Eye on Health, a pair of high school sweethearts ended up a match in more ways than one. For many people in need of a liver transplant, it can take months to find a donor. But for a local patient, the answer to her prayers was right beside her all along. Mikey has their story. I started to feel very sick in 2020 during COVID, and I wasn't quite sure what was happening you know, with my body. Um, I became very jaundiced and just bloated. Diagnosed in April of 2021, Jen Marzarella found out she had cirrhosis of the liver and needed a liver transplant. When I received my initial diagnosis, I thought it was a death sentence at first, just trying to educate myself about the illness. I quickly realized it's not a death sentence. It's very treatable. Um, it did require some big lifestyle changes, um, which wasn't a problem. Uh, diet, losing weight helped. Jen was fortunate. She didn't have to wait long for a transplant because her husband, Daniel, was able to donate part of his liver. Together for 25 years in high school sweethearts, Daniel never knew he'd be the one saving her life one day. They actually told me that I could possibly become a living donor. Um, they told me one of the things I had to do was bring my body mass down, so I had, I had to lose about 60 pounds in order to do that. It seemed impossible at first, but he had a strong motivation and did it in just five months. Giving my wife around was enough motivation for me to do anything at that point. The good thing about living donor is sometimes we can transplant people before they get too sick. Um, and what too sick means is sometimes people are in the ICU for weeks before they get a transplant. But luckily, she was able to have a living donor from her husband. Dr. Tyndall says a common misconception about becoming a designated organ donor on your driver's license means that doctors won't try to save your life in the hospital in hopes of using your organs. And that's very untrue. First, because the doctors who are taking care of you don't know that, to be quite honest. They haven't seen that. They don't get that information. The interests of your doctor are helping you get better. And the interests of the donor team are, if that's not gonna be possible, then they can step in and provide family with other options. And having certain pre-existing conditions does not automatically disqualify you from donating. They have a living donor coordinator you can call to walk you through the process. And they can go over your interests in donation, whether it be liver or kidney, and do a basic medical screening and see if you could potentially become a donor. Things are going well now. I'm feeling better than I've felt prior to being sick. And I continue to have good blood work every week. Back to normal, I'm driving my car again. I'm able to walk around without feeling out of balance. Receiving an organ happened for her fast, but she knows most people aren't in the same situation. I just can't even get over how quickly it happened. Um, it's just amazing, and I never thought it was possible, but it completely is. So I thank you. Oh my gosh. I'll just get I'm getting emotional. <laughs> yeah, and we really want to thank Dan and Jen for sharing their story because it really can help so many other people. And remember to keep watching for our Eye on Health series right here on PTL. It happens on Wednesdays, in, and it's brought to you by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield together with Allegheny Health Network for your health.